Hey guys, what's up? This is the Smooth Spy, and right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Grand Theft Auto V mods both manually and with a mod manager. So let's get started. First thing you will need before you want to mod anything is you are going to need Script Hook 5. Now I'll be showing you how to do everything manually first, and we'll get into the mod man manager. So to download, the script hook 5 which is pretty much the uh, tool that allows mods to work in the game so you're going to want to you're going to want this along with perhaps a few other add-ons which I'll get to that in a minute so first up you want to hit the link the first link in the description and take you to this page you'll click to download i already have the downloads i'm not going to download it and you will get this file and you going to if you want to read this you can yeah text you know, all that good stuff, but you'll head and bin. And you'll see these three files. Now this right here, that is a mod that comes with it. It's a little uh, mod menu. Pretty much it's optional, but if you don't have any mods, why not? Or if you want to get a better one, you can. But it's optional. But these two are what you really need to get it working. So, what you want to do is just close that. You want to go into your file browser, go to wherever Grand Theft Auto 5 installed. For most everybody, it's um, C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. But for me, it's just a wee bit different since I have it installed on another hard drive. And there it is. So what you're going to do is have this open file and go into the bin. Save your file. Now then, uh, if you want the mod, you just can copy all these and then paste them into your Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, game folder. And you can tell what that is by you go down and you can see your Grand Theft Auto executable. That's where you know where you're at. And you'll just copy these and paste them in. And voila, there you go. You have installed Script Hook 5 as well as the native trainer, which is optional. Now, to install any other mod manually that has the, the ending of .asi, you'll just want to copy the contents. And here, make sure you read the readme's. They give pretty much the basic of the information. Most of the time, they will just say to copy and paste whatever... Uh, file. Sometimes they'll uh, also have you copy a .ini file into there and just do, do that and there you go. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now then, some mods require an LUA plugin to work and I'll show you how to install that and the mods. So, you will only go to the second link and you will find this page. You will hit the download button and once you have done that, you'll get this file. It's already unzipped, so you don't have to ex extract or anything. And you get these two items. Simply copy and paste these in to your Grand Theft Auto 5 files. And voila, they have been installed. Now then, to install a mod for that has a .lua extension at, at, at the end of the mod name. You're going to want to go into the scripts folder here, go into the add-ons, and then put them here. Because if you put them anywhere else, you're going to have issues. So make sure into the scripts and into the add-ons. Understand? All right, cool. Now we can move on to installing with a mod manager. To install the mod manager, go to the link in the description. Go to the mod manager, hit the download button. I've already got it downloaded. And you'll get this little file. You need to right click and you need to extract. You get these two files. Now you want to double click this one. Now, if this warning pops up, uh, don't worry, just hit more and allow. And then, boop, 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 you sound, you've. Given your computer to hackers, enjoy. I'm kidding. Yeah, it's it's fine. 
and then you'll read through this pretty much just saying that it can't 100% guarantee that you will not get banned if you go online with mods and all that good stuff and you just agree if you agree and then you go into the initial setup stuff make sure this is where you have the game installed and make sure it's your steam or the rockstar and also make sure that this is where you want i made a little handy folder so that also works and then if you want to enable the mods to be disabled as you exit up to you and here we go the mod manager has been installed all right to add mods into the mod manager what you're going to want to do is you want to place all the mods that you install into the folder that it creates which is in at, at by default it's under documents Grand Theft Auto V mods that's a folder I made so this one and how you want to do this is you want to copy and paste as if you were installing it into the game manually you put those files there so if the mod requires you to put to put the mod that has an ending of dot asi then you would put that here as you see they're all just thrown in there now for lua mods make sure you go into scripts add-ons and you put the mods here for the mods that have dot lua they'll put them in here but have them in there and then with this is allows you to turn them on and off and what's really cool about using a mod manager if something goes wrong turn it off turn it back on you don't have to go and find the file and get rid of it especially if you're doing a whole bunch of modding i would totally go with the mod manager that's what i'm going to go with i was going manual but now i'm going to go with the mod manager it just makes sense and of course one of the other really cool things about this mod manager is it'll turn off well you have an option to but you can have the option to when you go into offline and when you go into online mode it will turn off all mods so that way you don't have to worry about being banned or it stops you from uh, launching online if you do it from here of course if you do it from Steam then yeah it can't really stop you but if you do it from here it's not going to allow you to launch the game online if you have mods enabled you have to disable them all and then do online alright guys I really hope this was of help to any of you I know it was a little bit con confusing for me in a few parts but overall it's fairly simple once you get the hang of things and I hope that this will help you guys to install all the mods that you want because there are a ton of them I'm making some videos on some more of them and I've already done some so you can check out my channel and a few of the mods that I've already done and anyways, guys thanks for watching this has been the smooth by make sure you subscribe if you like this and you know like comment all that good stuff anyways guys thanks for watching take care